I feel like golden right now. Focused and ready. Cool. Three, two, one. What's up everybody and welcome back to another video with myself, Thomas. I've got the camera on a tripod on a table this time um, because I've seen lots of people do it standing up and it seems to work a lot better than having um, me at a really awkward position and a wide angle looking down on me. And I kind of like it like this more, so we'll keep it this way as is. Um, so, I did some powder photography. You might have seen on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, it's at Thomas R. Pearson. Uh, Go follow it, please. We did some powder photography. I went up and I met with my friend Erin, who I haven't seen in literally a year. I literally haven't seen her since last September. So it's been almost a year since I've seen her, which is pretty insane in comparison. And we went a wandering. And I haven't been down to where she lives for a little while. And where she lives, there's a lot of like rural landscape where there's also stone walls of like old mining things and also like old tinneries and all that kind of stuff and I was like wouldn't it be cool if we went and did this powder photography in one of these places. Now admittedly I think it might have been illegal because um, a lot of them are national heritage sites but it didn't anywhere say no photography, no stuff, just be respectful of the land and considering it's paint powder um, it, and it's raining a lot recently anyway, I figured that it would just wash off. I mean, um, the stuff in my hands washed off with like, just a bit of soap. So I figured like, with the rain and the rainfall anyway, it would just wash away regardless. Admittedly, it's been kind of hot today, so I'm a little bit concerned that it's just got blue paint powder on the walls. And what I was doing was I was putting the paint powder into my hands and then slapping it together to make this really cool sort of like explosion effect, which I've seen a couple of other people do. I'm going to do a bit more with it that's a bit more original from my self shortly. I've got a couple of things in the next couple of days that I want to do. But for this, I was just like, it's the first time I've bought paint powder. By the way, super hard to find because it's festival season, like the idiot I am, thinking that I could just walk into any shop and find paint powder. Now, in terms of the photos, I've actually got my laptop with me this time so I can look at the photos and then describe them to you. Haha, -ha, smart thinking ahead. So one of the first photos we took was, it was in a long rocky path with some, um, much like the smoke grenade ones, with some trees either side, and I got the red paint powder. I'd never used it, I didn't realize how messy it was gonna get, and I slammed it together. But it just didn't quite work, and as you can see, the powder was going, and it just, but it was just, it was too far away, and I just didn't really like the shot. The grading's cool, but I just didn't like the shot so much. Took some photos of Erin up against the nice, um, nice scenery as we were walking up the lane. There was some orange flowers, and I got some nice self-portraits of her. They were really nice. I got some portraits of Erin, and it, the bokeh of the flowers is really nice on her face. And it just looked really cute in general. And then we got to the mining pit, which I don't know if it was a mining thing, like a tin mine that was semi-collapsed. And I decided to get the blue powder out. And I was slapping it, and we got some incredible shots with these. I'm so in love with these shots. The shot I love the most is the one where you can see my hand like this, and you can see my eye through the smoke and it just looks perfect. If I could just have brought the highlights out in the eye a little bit more, I probably would have enjoyed it just a bit more, but I couldn't quite get to look right without it looking super unnatural, super weird. So we've got what we've got, but it's still an awesome shot. I've also got a couple um, of me sat up on the rocks of the collapse bit with a uh, foam crown on, um, the king of the castle. So that is the, pro the caption post. And then, to top it all off, I got Erin to put my hoodie on. And you've seen this hoodie in a couple of photos before. It's the one that's like got the, like, it's like a paint bucket pouring the galaxy into the white, which is super awesome. Loads of people like that hoodie. Um, I got it two or three years ago now. It's super, super soft and super, super awesome. But I got Erin to wear that and then part the sides open like that. And then I composited in Photoshop the rest of the mine into her so it looks like you can see through it. It's super cool. I actually had to clone stamp part of the image out because it was, um, the harsh light was coming in behind and I didn't quite frame it right, but I still got the photo nonetheless. People seem to love those kind of photos, so I'm going to keep doing them in different locations with different cool spots and hopefully more different hoodies. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is. I'm going out with another friend of mine, Connor, on Sunday to do some more cool paint powder photography, hopefully. I've got to hit him back up and uh, let him know what we're going to do. Okay, that's all I have for you for now. I have super cool videos on the way. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Also, drop a like and a comment. Tell me what you want to see from this channel more. Uh, instead of just ripping off other artists' ideas, give me ideas and I will execute them. And they will look cool, I promise. That's all for now. Thank you for looking at this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Adios. I'm, I'm trying to find the positive and shit upon the negative. I'm sick of people being complacent with just the way it is. I ain't talking politics. That facade is paper thin. I'm talking about the spirit inside of us that can make us win. I've been trying to win it for a minute. Now I'm in it. Thicker than a liquor made stick. Grip between your digits. Go ahead and enjoy joy. Hollering oi oi. Cause I'll be fucking dead before I stop making noise, boy.